Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it is Friday guys and it's around 5.05 in the evening and I'm just going to get some dinner going. Now, um, I don't have much in the house as far as, I, I had stuff in the house that I could figure out and, and make something from, but um, honestly I am just exhausted from the last couple of days. You know, it takes a lot out of you, all that stress and everything else. And Frankie was running to the, Frankie had to go to the doctor and where he was going to be was up by Aldi. So he's stopping and doing a little shopping for himself at Aldi. So I'm having him pick up a bag of that frozen chicken. Do you ever go to Aldi and get the red bag of the frozen breaded chicken? It's so good. It's like so close to, ch to, to, ch uh, to Chick-fil-A. It's really, really good. You can put it on rolls and, you know, have a sandwiches or just have regular. It's so good. And so I said, just pick up a bag of that for me, and all, and I just have a craving for home fries. Billy said he had home fries this morning for breakfast at the hospital, and they were good, but they were all, they were they were like they gave him like this much. So all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, I want home fries, like homemade home fries, and I have a lot of potatoes in the in the pantry. I have a full bag, and I have like six of the, of these. So I'm gonna peel some potatoes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the microwave in, in, in water and let them um, get a little bit soft so they're halfway cooked. And then I'll cut them up and this way I'll get them cooked. I'll, I'll cook them on, on the stove. Maybe I'll put onions in it. I'm not sure. I'll ask him if he wants onions. If not, we'll just do some home homemade home fries, guys. So, so good. So let's get going. We're going to start peeling the potatoes. Okay, I don't have you on the... Um, on the tripod because right now I don't need you to be, you know, you don't need to be. So let's just try to prop these up here so nobody, so they don't fall. I'll get the peeler. I got a sink full of dishes that I have to do from breakfast and Frankie has a couple of things in here. He had to get to the doctor's office so he didn't do his dishes. So I have dishes I have to do, but I want to get the potatoes peeled and in the microwave first and while that is uh, steaming, I will do these dishes in here, so this way we don't have a whole bunch of dishes. Because Bill usually does the cleanup. Bill's not doing nothing. He's relaxing. He's got to be, you know, he's got to relax for the next two two days and just take it easy and all that. And I don't want him doing anything, dishes or anything. So, and besides the fact, he can't get his wrist wet right now anyway and all that. So, anyway. So... Let's get peeling. I mean, I could have very easily had Frankie pick up a bag of home fr a home a home fries or French fries or um or tater tots, but I just feel like homemade. I just feel like homemade um home fries, and the only thing that you know you have to do is peel the potatoes. So yeah, I'm exhausted, guys. Thank you so much for every, all your prayers and your well wishes and your support. I'm telling you guys, I'm so thankful and we're so grateful for it. Oh, and I got to show you something in a minute. Um, one of my YouTuber friends, Carla, I mentioned her the other day. What an amazing lady. She sent us a care package in. A couple of weeks ago, she asked me, we were talking and she asked me what Bill, um, what Bill's favorite snacks are and everything. And I told her and she asked me what kind of coffee he, he drinks and he likes and all this. So today we get home. She had told me a couple of days ago, she had told me that she had, she was um, ordering a care package for us. So I was like, oh my God, Carla, no. We get home today and in, on the, the stoop is a big box Listen to what this lady said. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what she said. She's amazing. She's just amazing. All right. All right, guys. Look what she sent. She sent six boxes of Dunkin' Donuts Kerrigs coffee. Could you believe that? Is that the most nicest thing? I, I, I We were shocked. Combos, which one is one of his favorite things to eat. She also sent me... The minute I mention that I'm low on garlic, the, she, she she's so sweet, she sends me garlic. And I don't say it for that reason. I'm just talking about, you know, because I vlog and I'm talking about my stuff and what I what I'm not, what I don't have and what I need and all this. 
She sent me two cans of minced garlic. She also is sending me um, a thing of a big bag of fresh, the, the the fresh bowls of garlic. Yeah, do you believe that? Sweetest lady ever. So thank you, Carla and family, so much. We so appreciate your kindness and your thoughtfulness. Really, it's just, it's just, un, it's it's amazing. And my husband was so excited when we got home to get that care package and to open it up. Now, honestly, we don't, we, when he gets Dunkin' Donuts coffee, he gets the cold coffee once in a while. But mostly, mostly we make it at home. I showed you guys the Kahlua that we get and all that. We make, when we buy the coffee, cold coffee, we make it at home. When we get hot coffee, we always buy the, the, the Walmart great value brand. Always. We never buy the Dunkin' Donuts because we can't afford it. We, we just can't. He loves it, but we can't afford it. So for her to get to her to send the Dunkin' Donuts was the sweetest gesture and the sweetest thing. Thank you so much again, Carla. So so appreciated. He's gonna love it and enjoy it. We both are. So thank you so so much. Again, thank you everybody for your for not just your monetary gifts that, that some people send or whatever. Like we appreciate it so much. Don't uh, uh, unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. We're so blessed. Um, we also appreciate all your prayers and your and your well wishes and your support. That means the world to us as well. So thank you so much to everybody who just does that. And that's not even just. That's who gives well wishes and prays for us and all of that. We're very, very lucky to have a community like YouTube that we have. So thank you. So I just wanted to say that. And, um, and yeah, so I, I could have had Frankie get, like, um, french fries or tater tots, but I, after Billy mentioned the, the home fries, I'm like, oh my God, I need, I need fresh home fries, homemade home fries. And like I said, I have all these potatoes back there. I had bought two bags of potatoes. They were, um, two five pound bags for $4 a couple, uh, last week at, at ShopRite. And I honestly, I forgot I had, I had them in there. So I have a whole bag here. So I'm going to make some, some of these, use these two use some of these and then I think tomorrow I'll make um, potato egg salad and use them up for that so I'll make a small thing of potato egg salad so um so yeah like I said um we're we're waiting for Billy's disability check to the second check and people are asking me well why why is it why didn't the check be deposited one lady asked why wasn't the check deposited if it was deposited the first time without any issues with the routing number. It wasn't deposited the first time. We got a, a physical check the first time. This is only our second check. We've only got one check from them since April, which we, which we got three weeks ago, three weeks ago. So um, then what happened was the lady said, well, we're gonna, di we're gonna direct deposit it. So then Billy gave her the information. We were waiting for her. She said it was released on the 20th. We never heard anything like three days later, so we so we called them. We're like, "Where's the where's the money? It's not in the account." Oh well, what's the routing? Oh, we um we, we got we got something back from the bank saying that it was a, it was rejected because it was the wrong number. Well, nobody called us and even told us. If we didn't call them, we would still be waiting for the check, and we would have to wait more. So anyway, she's like, "Okay, well, we'll we'll we'll, we'll fix the numbers." You know, she, he gave them the real the right numbers and everything. We'll fix the numbers, but it's going to take at least three or four days for the money to go into the account. That was like, wh when was that? Monday? Monday? Monday. No, it was Monday that, that, that we spoke to them. Monday or Tuesday. I spoke to them on Thursday. Oh, no, last Thursday. I called them, wait, I called them Tuesday. They called me back Wednesday. Right, right, Wednesday. So that was Wednesday. So today's only Friday. So that's only two days. So they said three or four days. So... So you got to stop payment and then... Yeah, they had to stop the payment and then re reissue another one. But in the meantime, you're not getting your money. So, like, we planned on that money being in our account. You know what I mean? So, like, we, we used our money in a different way because because we thought we were getting that money. And, and we, have, we haven't gotten the money, so we don't have that money. So, um, um, I'm hoping and praying that... It will be there um, tonight, you know, and I hope they do it over the weekend. I hope that I hope that they I hope they deposit it. Otherwise, it's probably not going to be here till Monday. And you know, it's just crazy, guys. It's just crazy the way things happen. You know, it's just 
it's like more stress on top of more stress that you don't need. And things just like, like I, I wrote this morning on the community post, I just need an answer. Like, why do these things happen? I guess, I don't know. I have no answer. Nobody has the answers. I don't know. It was kind of an open question. Nobody really can answer it. You could answer it, but there is no solutions to it because it's just the way the world works. You know, people say, oh, God gives you, doesn't give you, you know, too much that you can handle or whatever the saying is. No, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what we're dealing with. So that's the thing. So um, like I said, I do have, like, I have pastas in there, but I have no meats. Like, the only thing I have in my freezer up here, I have nothing left as far as meat goes in my freezer downstairs. I had stock for months in there. We used it all up at the last three months with everything happening, which is awesome, which is great, which is I'm so glad I had it. But now I don't have any stock in the freezer downstairs. The only thing I have up here is I have a thing. Um, I have a thing of ribs, um, one pack of ribs that I have bought when they were on sale. And I'm the only one, Frankie eats them too, but I'm me and Frankie are the only one that really eat, that eats ribs. So I have that in there, but that's all the meat I have. So, um, but I do have pastas. I have stuff that I could, you know, make to, to make a pasta, you know, pasta. So, you know, we're not going to starve. So that's the whole thing. We're not going to starve, but I need, I'll need, I'm going to need the, I'm going to need the necessity things, which hopefully we'll be, we'll be okay until, until the money comes in. We'll survive. We'll survive it. But it's just the point, like, come on, like enough, you know? And I, and, and again, guys, you know. I know we're not the only ones suffering and, and, and struggling. I know it. Everybody's everybody's struggling, you know. We just have a lot more going on with the health issues and with the job issues. You know, him not working, being at work for three months and all that stuff. So that just adds on to it. And then when you have stuff like that happening, you have other stuff happen. It's just, it's just the icing on top of the cake. Oh, and by the way, yes, this shirt is new. Um... Uh, Belinda, Belinda Penna, a couple of weeks ago, sent us um, a, an Amazon gift card um, when they were having those Amazon sales. And she's like, here, here's a $75 gift card. You know, get yourself your, 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 um, your chopper because my head chopper had broke or whatever you want to do with it. So I needed some more like summer shirts. So they had these on sale. I, I got this one, which was like not even $7. Really cute, right? We came today. This one, and then I'll show you the other one I got. Let me go get it. So I got these, I got this one and this one. Now I got extra larges because uh, honestly, like I'm, my weight, I've been gaining a couple of pounds here and there, losing it a couple of pounds. So I'm like a large or an extra large. So I got these in extra large. This one fits me perfect as an extra large. You know, it's a little bit tiny bit big, but, and this one is a little bit big on the, on the, on the sleeves, but I'm not going to send it back. I'm going to keep it because for the amount of time that's left in the, that that's left in the summer and it was only $6.00. It'll be fine. You know, it's not, it's not really, it doesn't show anything or anything. It's, it's very comfortable. So I'm just going to keep it. So yeah, so I got just two more shirts just to get me through the summer. I mean, that, that's all I need. The rest of the clothes that I have are sufficient and I'll wait just until the fall and start buying stuff for the fall and the winter. I'm not going to buy no more summer clothes now. The amount of shorts that I have, three, a pair, three, three or four pairs of shorts is plenty to get me through the summer and that's it. I'm not going to do that. So anyway. Yeah, so these are the two shirts I got. Thank you, Belinda. I love it. I love it. What? I mean, if you want to shut the air and see what happens, see how it feels with the windows open and everything, it's not really humid. It's actually very nice out. I, I didn't... I know. I wanted to, I, I went outside to like look at my garden and just assess everything. And I, I just didn't want, I wanted to stay in there, like out there. I didn't even want to come in the house. Like I, it's so nice out and it's just really a beautiful day today. No humidity, low humidity, hot, but not, you know, humid or anything. It just, I really just wanted to stay outside. I didn't even want to come in the house, but I had to. So anyway, but it's a beautiful day out. So we had the air on, we put it on when we got home from the hospital. 
because it was really muggy in here, but now I think we're going to shut it off, kill the air and let the, let the, open the windows and just let everything, you know, you, you want to save as much as you can. If you can save it, not put the air on, you, you, you do it. So, potato went flying. So I'm going to make a nice amount of these because like I said, I have all these potatoes and I really enjoy having home fries in there. Like this morning, I got a willy. I had, um, I know, I, I remembered I had bacon in there. So a lot of times I don't eat breakfast and then, you know, I'm starving. So I'm like, I had, um, so I made a little, like three pieces of bacon for myself. And then I made a scrambled egg. So I had a scrambled egg and bacon and, um, and I wish I would have had some potatoes. So, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm going to, you know, since I have them, I might as well use them. So I'll make some home fries. Oh my God. I have, a, we, we have, a, um, a group text, me and my cousins and my two sisters. And there's seven of us. And when the girls, and when we get on a, on a, on a talking thing, everybody starts talking. And so everybody starts texting. And all you hear is the texts over and over uh -huh. and over and over and over and over and over again. Uh -huh. And it drives everybody crazy. It drives everybody crazy. And including me. <laughs> so right now everybody's texting. Yeah, so that's what you're hearing, is you're hearing the texts over and over and over again. Anyway, that's what it is. But anyway, um, yeah, it's really, really nice out today. I think, what did they say, tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow and Sunday are supposed to be beautiful days. So Jenny um, Jenny goes to camp Sunday. So I'm, I'm, uh, next week they said, you know, a couple of days might be iffy. But they, they do all kinds of activities. They even, even when it rains, the camp they go out and they and they do things in the rain you know they they make fun of they make fun with with the rain and they'll you know stomp in the puddles or they're you know they'll do all that kind of stuff they do a lot of stuff even if it's raining because it's a camp it's an outside sleepaway camp so that's what they do so it'll be fine she'll have a ball either way either way either way so yeah, so she's really excited. Tomorrow I'm going to actually go over to go over and see her for an hour or two because Sunday she's going there. And I usually see her once a week. Um, so we haven't seen her since last weekend. So um, we're going to go either me or just me or Bill too. I don't think, I don't know if Bill's going to go feel up to it, but we'll go see her for a little while. And then Sunday she goes to camp. So excited. So she's going to have a ball. She keeps saying to me, I says, oh, are you excited? She goes, yeah, mom, I'm really excited, but I'm also very nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm like, you're going to be fine, you know. She's, Jen one thing about Jennifer is that she's been going away very, a lot since she's been a little girl. You know, she, because she was disabled, we were, we were involved with all these groups. And, you know, so, and with her program, she went, they used to go to, they used to do like a cabin sleepaway for like three, four days. So she's used to going away and, you know, and being away from her family. One time she did get homesick. She did get home. She, she called me upset crying. She wanted to come home. But she, they, they talked with her and everything. And she, and she seemed, and then she was okay. And she stuck it out. But um, she is a little bit nervous, I guess, even just to leave her group home or her, you know, her surroundings. But she's going with a bunch of her friends that she knows and rooming with them. Hopefully that all worked out. I hope they all room together. We'll see. But um, I think she's going to be okay. But she's going to have a ball. She's going to have a ball. And she's literally 30 minutes away. You know what I mean? So if she, if she really was upset and wanted to come home, back to the group home or here, I, we would pick her up. There's no way. I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't care. But anyway, so I think she'll be fine. She's going to have a ball. Again, thank you so much, everybody, for the GoFundMe who donated, who gave their support. I, we so, so appreciate it. Jennifer appreciates it. She said thank you so many times. All my family, my friends, my YouTubers, friends, everybody. Whoever donated, thank you so much again for that. We are so lucky. We appreciate all of you. 
I can't say it enough. So that's it. So I just wanted to say that. But anyway, yes, so tomorrow and Sunday it's supposed to be really nice. Monday might be a little iffy. Me and Julie actually wanted to go to the lake beach on Monday, but the rain, it might be crappy, so we might not be able to go. So if not, we'll go next week. Um, I just want to go to the, to the, oh, and I told you, did I tell you guys I got my bathing suit? I also got the bathing suit when, when, um, when Belinda Penna sent that, that gift card, that Amazon gift card. I don't think I showed you guys. I got a picture of me in it. I'm going to look at it and see if I, it's appropriate to show you guys. I'll, I'll insert it in the, in the video, into the video. This, tonight, um, I, it's just my, me and my bathing suit, which is a bathing suit. People wear bathing suits at the beach, you know, whatever. So, but it's really cute. I love it. And I'm so excited to wear my bathing suit. And I'd like to wear it, even if it's just one time for the summer. So, <laughs> we're supposed to go to my cousin's house for a pool party. I don't know if that's going to happen. So, we'll see about that. If that, if that is, um, it's supposed to be planned, but I don't know. We're, we're waiting on the time and the date and all that so hopefully i'll still be able to do that but i want to at least wear it to the beach one time to the lake beach which is is like 30 minutes from my house not far from my house and it's a lake beach it's a, a lake with a beach you know what i mean so yeah so i'm looking forward to that with julie uh billy not really interested in going especially this week he doesn't want to go anywhere really so anyway um it'll just be me and julie so yeah, hopefully we can get that. We can go Monday, but I don't know. It's looking a little iffy with the weather. We'll see. Anyway, I'm excited about that. So yes, yeah, so I got my bathing suit, guys. Thank you. Oh God, I can't say thank you enough. I really can't. Like I don't want to sound like a broken record. Like you know, I, I am. But I just want to thank everybody again. So yeah, so I'm just gonna finish peeling these potatoes. And like I said yesterday. I, um, we, we got to the hospital at around, um, 10.30, we had to be there. Now, we know, we knew the deal, like, I brought my, I brought my, um, my phone charger. Billy didn't bring his phone charger, because he really thought that he would be out of there y yesterday, because the, the thing was, is that our, our appointment was 10.30, but he, he wasn't being, he wasn't scheduled to go in till we we actually saw he saw that it said two which we were like two o'clock we got here 10 30 in the morning and you're not even scheduled to go in till two th till two o'clock then we then we heard that it was 12 o'clock so we were in the waiting area he was all set up they put his iv in or whatever they did what they had to do and we were waiting and the doctor and they came in they said oh the doctor's delayed it might it's going to be a little while and we were like oh we know the deal. There's no way. I said to myself, there's no way he's going home. Because you know how I knew? Because when they did his other two stents, they did it through his wrist, right, guys? Not through the groin area, which they do a lot of most of the time. They do it through their wrist now, which is much easier and much better. So they said that they were going to try to do the wrist again. Because if they can't do the wrist, they always prepare the groin area because if they can't get in through the wrist, if it's difficult, then they do the groin at the, you know, for, for, for the second choice. So they said that as long as they could do the wrist, that he would be out, he would be able to come home. That's if the, the if the procedure started at 12. If it, was, if it was at noon, he would have been able to come home by six o'clock. But because it, he didn't get done until six o'clock, until five o'clock, his surgery wasn't done until five. They had to wait four hours because what they do is they, the, 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 the wrist is all taped up and everything. And they, what they do is they expand it. And every, after like two hours, they have to start releasing the air slowly out of the, out of the, the wound. So slowly it doesn't, you know, give him a blood clot or anything like that. So they had to wait at least two hours. So the doctor's like, he's not gonna be out of here till 10, 11 o'clock and I don't want him going home at 10, 11 o'clock at midnight after this procedure. So let him just stay here. So that's what they did. So for, for precaution and for timing and all that, they said, let's just let him, and I was glad because I would rather him be in the hospital overnight with that. I don't want him home and have to worry about anything happening. Anyway, so that's, that's why they kept him in. So, but, um, so we knew, I knew right then that he was going to be in for the night. And that's why I brought my charger, my phone charger. 
he didn't bring his phone charger because he thought naively he was going to be out of there. So anyway, um, what happened was I had had my little white box thing that connects to the charger. And so he had his, his wire in the car, his phone wire. So I went to, out to the car, got that wire and brought it in and it fit into my little plug. So I was able to leave my plug there with him so he could charge his phone because he only had 40% when I was leaving. He, he wouldn't have a phone for the rest of the night. It probably would have died and we wouldn't have been able to talk and all of that. So that worked out so he had the phone charger. But eh, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, it's just one thing after the next. It really is just one thing after the next. But yeah, so you know, the whole thing is just very, very stressful. Everything is stressful because you're... You know, it's not just like there's there's things you have to worry about also with that come with this whole thing. You know, it's not just an easy, simple thing. So, yeah, so he, um, the doctor did all kinds of like testing. He said everything looks really good. His other stents looked nice and his openings looked really good still. And everything was still, you know, nice and clear. And his, he, he doesn't have any pressure or lung uh, or um fluid on his lungs or anything he said that the doctor said he um he looks really good and everything and he's very happy and so he um he, he were, you know they took blood everything was good and um they did an ekg which the ekg to me doesn't even matter because when he went into the hospital with the with the chest pains with the heart attack the ekg was normal and he, and he was having a heart attack so anyway i wouldn't count on the ekg you know to be uh, uh, thorough but Anyway, the blood work was good, and they were just in there, so they know everything is good. So um, I was glad about that. I'm, I'm glad about that. So now he just has to take it easy, and Friday he'll go to the doctor, and um, we'll see what he says and see how Billy feels. So I, I'm thinking probably like another three weeks he's probably going to be off, another two to three weeks. He says a week or two. I think it'll be more than more like two or three weeks. Hopefully he'll be back to, to work by the middle of August, and then we could get moving on, getting caught up on everything, you know, so, uh, I'm telling you, so anyway, that's the story, guys, so let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, 12 potatoes, that's plenty, that's what I'm going to use, so I have these, the rest of these I can make potato egg salad with tomorrow, I'm not sure if I have any more potatoes in the back, I'm going to check it out and look and see. But I'm going to get a big bowl. I'm going to put these in cold water and put them in the microwave for like five minutes and just let them get a little bit tender so then I'm ahead of the game. Frankie's still not home from all these. He's going to be a little while, so we're not going to eat probably for a little while yet anyway. So it's fine. All right, guys. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Um, Put all these potatoes in this bowl and put it in the microwave. I'm doing the water just because I don't want to cook them all different times. I'm just going to put them in here. Put them in there for like five minutes. And we'll see how, you know, how they come if they're a little bit soft. I don't want to fully cook them. Oh, you have the air off. Yeah, okay, good. Um, so I, I don't want to fully cook them, but I want to cook them more than a little bit more than halfway. Or halfway at least. I'll do six minutes. And, we'll, and then we'll check them. Um, the potato skins I'm going to save for my um, garden. I went out to my garden before because I really, I didn't pay any attention to it yesterday. Last night when I came home, I checked it. And um, I actually, after, after in a minute, I'm going to go out there. I don't know if with you guys or after. And I have to water the garden because um, it's not going to rain until Monday. And so it definitely needs to be watered. Um, yeah. I, um, I put a whole bunch of stuff in it the other day. And, um, and actually, um, the string beans that are in the, in the second, um, in the second um, little garden, you know, with the tires... I noticed that I'm seeing little buds now on them. They still don't look, the, the plants itself look better, 
They still don't look great, but I noticed since I've been tending to them more and really paying attention and, you know, pulling the little dead things off and, and, um, and uh, putting all the, the stuff in there, you know, the eggshells and the coffee, I noticed that um, it looks a little bit healthier and that I see buds now. So I might be getting some string beans from those. I'm very, very excited about that. I also took my, my, my pepper seeds that I had the other day that I saved and I, um, and I, I, um, put, I planted those in a little pot, put them on my, um, on the thing outside. I also did, um, I took my jalapeno seeds. Well, I have jalapenos in there. I forgot. I got to find them in the fridge and maybe put them in the freezer. There's just two. Um, I forgot that I had, I, I cut them out. I cut them up, you know, so I could take, get the seed. And I planted jalapeno seeds in another little pot too, hoping that, by the end of the summer, I get some jalapenos, you know, and some peppers. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, guys, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying. So just trying to tend to the garden more and just, um, you know, I, I really, you know, I have to get out there and I have to, um, I really, really, really want to go, maybe maybe tomorrow, go out there and weed all that, all the weeds out of the, um, out of the, out of the big, out of the big uh, uh, garden and, you know, on the raised garden because I think that'll help it. Um, get better and um, and I'm getting tomatoes. Tomatoes are coming up. We still have, we have to waiting for like I said I'm waiting for the moolah so I can go and buy those tomato things. I only had a couple of sticks and so some of the potato plants are hanging over, but there are a lot of tomatoes coming up. The, I had the I had the little ones and I have some big ones coming up, and a couple of the big ones that are, are in the other plant that are on the table. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna take these out. I'll show you. Um, they're starting to turn a little red. So. I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little encouraged about that, and like I said, I'm just excited about the string beans. I want more string beans, and as long as I get tomatoes, I have my basil and my parsley coming up. The, 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 the cucumber plant looks dead to me. I went out there; it looks like it's dead, like it's flopping, and it's all. Yeah, you know, I took out a lot of the dead leaves, and I took out, you know, I tried to like, you know, clean it up a little bit. There's no weeds in there because it's a tire. There's no weeds. But it's just very dry, and I don't know. I guess maybe I wasn't watering it enough. Maybe I, I don't freaking know. Anyway, um, it doesn't look that great, but it also is still producing cucumbers. The cucumbers, there's like two or three there that I'm gonna be able to pick probably in two or three days that are kind of skinny and small, but they're producing. And I had gotten like four cucumbers already from that plant, so I'm hoping that'll continue to grow. You know, and 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 as long as I keep keep it up and work on it a little bit, that it will get better. And the zucchini and the squash plants are, they got the big flowers on them. They got the big buds and it looks pretty healthy now, but there's no freaking zucchini or, 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 um, or squash. Now, I remember last year and in years past that I've had this garden in the, the, you know, in the, in the big garden, I get, I get, um, I've gotten squash, um, zucchini out of there. And I mean huge zucchini. Like I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do with all these zucchini? I should have, I should have planted the zucchini in this bed again, but I didn't because I wanted to put it in something else so I had more room for other stuff. So I said, let me try the tires, and it's just very slow. Maybe I always did the seeds for those. I never did a plant. Yeah, I always did a. I always did seeds for those. So, and they always and they always produce really well in that bed, but. So I don't know, it looks really healthy. Maybe it's just gonna take I mean, a couple more weeks because I don't know, I don't know. But I'm just gonna keep working on it. Hopefully by the end of the summer, I'll have some zucchini and squash to put in my freezer, to give away, to cook. Anyway, I'm excited. So it's just a work in progress. And I'm, I'm you know, sometimes I get really laxed on it if I'm stressed, if I'm unfocused, if I'm, you know, I don't wanna go out, I don't feel like doing I try to go out there every day. It, it makes me happy and it makes me smile and it helps me to feel better to go out there and, and work a little bit in the garden. I in no way do not have a green thumb. I have a little bit of a green thumb, halfway green thumb maybe. Um, but I enjoy doing it and I enjoy seeing everything grow and prosper and, and get bigger and all that. But um, it does make me happy to go out there once a day and just check it out and, uh, and see what's growing and all of that. So yeah. So it's, it's, it's exciting. I just hope everything grows. And it's all you can do is try and put the most effort you can into it. And that's it. 
All right, so the potatoes are on its last couple of minutes. It's done. I'm going to fork them and see if they're a little bit soft. If not, I'll put it on again. And I'll let you guys see. Hard as a rock still. Put them on for another five minutes. We'll try five minutes and then we will um, we'll check them out. All right, I'm gonna uh, pause a minute and then I'll take you guys outside with me. All right, guys, here we go. Come on, Goof. Come on. The the Goofy bud. He was so glad to see his daddy home. He slept. Me and him slept on the couch all night, guys. When my husband's not home and he's in the hospital, especially, I mean, if he was working or something like that. I, I, I still, I just don't like to sleep in my bed without my husband. I know it's strange. I know it might be weird, but I just don't like it. So I sleep on the couch when he's not here. And me and Koopy slept on the couch together. Koopy's always very cuddly. So here is the, um, the little bed. Here's the little container that I, um, that I, I had dead flowers in here. So I took it all out, put the fresh dirt in, and um, I planted the, um, I think the jalapeno, the jalapeno seeds are in here. Yeah, where did I put the peppers? Where did I put the peppers? I forget. I think it's on the other table. Anyway, there is the jalapenos, okay? Um, so, yeah. Here is the, the bed that I got to weed tomorrow. I'm definitely going to weed it tomorrow. But you see, I got tomatoes, guys. I got tomatoes. Let me show you. I have tomatoes on this, big, big ones here. This tomorrow, ooh, as soon as we get that moolah, we're gonna put, we're gonna put the little things, you know, the little um, holders up. We have to get them. And um, I have some, a lot of little tomatoes on here. This one's standing up pretty good, so I don't need anything there. I have sticks. Um, I, I found two sticks that Bill had left over, so I put those two sticks. If you could see, I'll bring these over there. Oh, here's the corn. The corn's doing nothing. I don't think it's going to get any bigger. I think it's dying. I don't think it's going to work in there. But anyway, here's my here's my plants. They're doing pretty good, my flower plants. Here's Koopy. Here he is. Um, so Billy had two sticks left over um, from the other sticks that, he, that he, we had bought at Dollar General. So yesterday I came in and put them on these this plant right here. So see, I got tomatoes on there. I got tomatoes on this one. Um, these, see? Look at all the tomatoes there, guys. So I'm excited about those. The string beans, they're looking a little bit better. I've been getting all the dead stuff off of them. I still have more to do tomorrow. And like I said, I have to get all the weeds out of here. Hopefully it'll be, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll, you know, today I think I found three or four beans. So it is still producing beans, but not as much as I was getting, so. Um, yeah, and so there, there's tomatoes on those too. See the little tomatoes? And I have cilantro in there somewhere. It's between all the weeds in there. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to siphon out the cilantro. Um, and I put this tomato plant, I kind of hung it up on the, um, <laughs> on this, the thing here because it won't stay down and there's tomatoes on it. And I don't want it to be on the ground, you know, on the, on the, the ground, which it is, which is on the dirt. But, um, and then there's tomatoes here as well tomatoes over there i don't know if you could see them but um yeah the string beans um string bean plants definitely um don't aren't looking that healthy but like i said i'm trying to fix that and we'll see what happens you know it is what it is guys that's it i enjoy it and whatever i get like i said i'm grateful for and i'll bring you over here and show you Here's that string bean plant that I was telling you about. This one is been struggling. Okay, the, the 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 in the beginning the bugs were eating it, and Courtney um, from our little gingerbread house, go check out her channel. She told me to put in um, co coffee grinds, and so it that keeps the bugs away, and it definitely helped that. And it's and um, I've been putting stuff in here, um, you know, all the the. the skins and the eggshells and the coffee grinds and it definitely looks a little bit healthy and now I noticed that there are buds on it look see the buds where are they can you see them the other buds let me get a bud there you go see it right there 
There's all little buds on it, guys. So I'm very excited about that. Little flowers, little buds. So hopefully they'll produce some string beans. I don't know. Here's the cantaloupe. I have no idea. I've never done cantaloupe before. There's flowers on them, but they don't look that great. I don't know if we're going to get cantaloupe. We'll see. Here's a big freaking... What is this? A big... I hope this isn't poison ivy because there could be poison ivy over here. Um, the carrots, I still, I pulled one out earlier to check it again. And it's still producing little, it's little carrots. So, like I said, I, I, I got to stay away from it because I like to pick and, and check them out and see if they're, um, and check them out. So, um, I'm trying not to do that because I have no patience. So, they'll grow a little bit. So, we're going to leave those alone now. Um, this right here is the cucumber plant. Now look at the cucumber plant, right? It looks, it looks unhealthy. I was picking all the dead stuff, trying to do it a little bit a day to get all the dead leaves off. But see, even though it's dead, it looks dead to me. There's cucumbers on it. See, I got one there and I got a bigger one right there. So, um, yeah, so, you know, it is producing cucumbers, but it just looks really crappy. And maybe it's supposed to look like that. I don't know. Is it, guys? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, here is the um, here is the squash and the uh, the zucchini. Like I said, there there are big flowers on it. There are big buds, but there are no zucchini or squash. So I don't know. Hopefully, they will produce some. I think that they will eventually. Hopefully, maybe it's just taking a while for that to happen. Maybe it's just taking a while for that to happen. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, so we got zucchini and squash, cucumber on its way dead, looks dead to me. <laughs> cantaloupe, which I hope I get a cantaloupe. String beans, carrots, and here, I'll take yours over here now. Did you see the puppy? Hi, say hi. Did you say hi? Hi. He's not going to say hi. <laughs> and here's the tomatoes. Now look, you see, I have two tomatoes here. This one looks like it's starting to get a little bit, uh, get a little red on it. There's actually, um, I have the big tomatoes in here, the vine, and I have little um, uh, cherry tomatoes in here, which I already got like four or five tomatoes off of that. That's all it's produced. It hasn't had any more yet. So I'm waiting for this. There's definitely more buds on there. Hopefully it'll come to fruition. Um, here um, is those peppers. Um, I think I did add some more pepper seeds to this. Just hoping that it'll come up. I know that people say I don't put a lot in here. I had taken a lot out of here because they had said I had too much in here. I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's going to do anything. We'll see. Um, these right here, I'm pretty sure are scallions because you see that right there? I thought that maybe they were chives or sca scallions. I thought they were, they were scallions and I think that they are. See the scallions, but they're not really coming up that much. And the parsley and the basil was coming up. Is the parsley's doing good? It's coming up, and the basil was doing good too. I had a lot in there, but I use it. I, I go in there and I take some, so it's a little sparse. But I'd like to get some big leaves on it. I don't know. It's very slow. I don't know. I see people with their freaking basil all big and all you know high and everything, and my basil won't even do freaking anything. Maybe, I don't know. It seems a little dry, but I, I mean, I've been watering it. I don't know. Either you, I'm nervous that I'm going to water too much or I don't water enough. So what is it, guys? I don't know. What is it? Yeah, so this right here is jalapenos. So maybe by the end of August, we'll have some freaking jalapenos. I don't know. Anyway, this is what I got, guys. So yeah, you know, I can do what I can do. But anyway, that's what we got here. Uh, I'm gonna go check those potatoes now because they must be done. I hope I didn't overcook them. I'll put them on for like another five minutes. So we'll go check them out. I'll take you guys with me. All right, guys, so here are the potatoes, okay? What I'm doing is I'm just cutting them in little pieces, okay? little tiny pieces because we like them small and I'm going to start sauteing them within some olive oil 
And um, I don't think I'm gonna put onion in them. I think I'm just gonna put some of the dried onion right now. Yeah. So what I do is I just cut them long ways and then I'm just cutting them small ways like this in little, in little pieces. That's what I'm doing. And potatoes, you got to season them, <clears throat> salt them good because they have no flavor. So I'm cutting them in like thin slices, see? And I cook them so they're just, you know, they're still hard, but they're soft in the way that will cook them pretty quickly in there, you know. And I just gotta make sure I don't overcook them because they are partially cooked. So they will cook quicker than normal. Because they're partially cooked. And I did that because I wanted to start the process. I don't wanna sit here and wait. 45 minutes for them to because I'm 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 gonna put them in um in a in a saute pan I'm not baking them you could bake them too I could have baked it but really baked them if I had more time but I'm not doing that and I'm not gonna like kill them in oil like they're gonna be you know I'm gonna do it in olive oil they're gonna be healthy it's not gonna be they're not gonna be soaked in oil so don't worry about that I'm gonna heat the pan up now. I'm eating them, yeah. I'm hungry. So Hubby's napping. He didn't sleep very well last night. He was in the room, he had a roommate who was, oh my God. The guy was so loud. He had his TV blasting like you know, he, and I wouldn't care, but if my husband wasn't there, yeah, that's fine. But if you have somebody else come in the room, you need to, like when he, when he, when Bill came in the room, he didn't lower his TV or anything. He just left it as loud as it was talking like he was, like you have to have consideration for other people regardless, you know? And he just was, he was really loud. He was talking on the phone. He was, he was like doing this. Like, you know, when you yawn and you go, ah, you go, ah. Well, he was doing, ah, really loud. And like really just making himself known. Like it was weird. Making really big noises, not being considerate, blasting the television that my husband couldn't even hear, hear his little speaker television. You know, speaker, he just was ridiculous. It was, and it was almost comical, you know, because he was so like loud and just like boisterous and didn't care, you know, and he had other issues. He had COPD, so he was like coughing and coughing up and, and just doing some gross things and just, and not being shy about any of it, you know. He came out and he was like, was using the bathroom and he's like, oh, hi, how are you guys? And you know, chatting away with us and asking where we're from and very nice man, very nice man, but crazy hospital stories. We found out some things when his doctor came in, he was talking and he was supposedly incarcerated for um, two and a half years. So um, he was in a cell. He must have did something very major because he was in a cell for 22 hours a day. And that's maximum security. If you're in a cell, 22 hours a day, that's mac maximum security. So we heard him talking, but we didn't ask him. We weren't going to ask him <laughs> what he was in for because it's got to be something pretty major. So anyway, the doctor was talking to him, and he was, you know, saying how he has to change his ways and he can't smoke, and, you know, and that he said, well, he didn't smoke for two and a half years being incarcerated, 
And the doctor's like, well, are you going to continue to smoke when you get out of here? He's like, I, I don't plan to. He's like, well, I hope you don't because, you know, you're going to be dead soon if you do. You're not going to survive and, and all of that. And, you know, you have to do this and you have to do that. And he was comical. And all he kept saying was, okay, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And it was funny because my husband's like, yeah, he was kept answering, sir. He said, then I realized why he was saying, sir, because he was in prison. He was, he's only been out 60 days, he said. So he was in prison for uh, two and a half years, and everything was sir, 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 miss, you know what I mean? Oh, my God, guys, I'm telling you the stuff that goes on. But this guy was hysterical. Actually, my husband's luck. My husband said, if I had to stay there another night, I was going to tell them they had to, they had to move me. Because there was no way I I could sleep. He, he was snoring. He was... Letting off gas, which everybody does, you can't help it. Whatever. He was just being very loud. Like when he would sneeze, he would exaggerate it so like the whole whole floor heard you. Or when like when he yawned, you know, he would yawn like he was the only one in the room. Guys, I just don't get it. I don't get people. I don't. I don't get people. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, some funny, funny stories to tell. All right, let's put this, see if I can do this. You're not on the tripod, but. All right, so I got about these, this much potatoes. That's a lot. I put some olive oil in here. I want it fairly high because I want them to become a little bit crispy and I want them to cook quick because, because. They're already half cooked. So, I'm going to put them at a pretty high flame. I think I'm going to cut up just a couple more potatoes and then I'll show you guys. All right, guys. So, I had two more potatoes. I had two, four potatoes left. I'm not going to put them in here. I think this is enough. Probably shouldn't have peeled those, but that's okay. Um, I'll use those for something else. Like I said, they're partially cooked. So that's good. I'm going to season these up. Got to constantly stir them because they're going to stick if I don't. Because this pan is not the greatest anymore. So let's do salt. Let's do black pepper. Um, let's do some onion powder. This is the last of my onion powder. Let's get the rest of this out of here. Um, my brother-in-law had a procedure actually yesterday, the same day Billy did, but in a different hospital. And he was um, having some lesions removed in his bladder. And there are some suspicious things going on. So just say, say a prayer for my brother-in-law. I'd really appreciate it. My sister Gina's husband, Brett, please say a prayer that everything turns out okay. Uh, I'm telling you, it's just never, there's never, you know, there's always something to worry about, guys. Always. Where's the garlic powder? Oh, here's, oh, here's more onion powder. I thought I didn't have any more onion powder. So I do. That's great to know. All right. We're seasoning it with more onion powder because there's only a little bit in there. And let me find the garlic powder. The garlic powder has to be in here. Yeah, here it is. If I was going to make those four potatoes, I would have um, I would have put it in the other pan that I have, the big pan. But since I'm just going to make these this amount, it's, it's fine. Because like I said, these are basically just about cooked. They just have to cook through more and get crispy. And these are going to be delicious, guys. So 
So when Frankie gets home in about 10 minutes, we're going to, um, all we're going to do is put the chickens in the air fryer. Billy and I are not even going to have, um, we're not even having um, bread with it. We're just having the regular chicken. It's so delicious. You can have it on bread, on a roll, you know, as a sandwich with cheese. Or you can just put cheese on it, cook it, air fry it, put cheese on it. So delicious. And that's how we're having it. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in here, guys. I have olive oil in here. I'm going to put a little bit of butter. All right, guys. Now, the thing with these potatoes is that um, because, you know, they're already cooked halfway, I'm just, like, watching them and really just, just tending to them and, and moving them around so they don't stick. Because right now the flame is pretty high. I'm going to lower it in a few minutes. But I want them to get a little crispy and caramelized first before I do that. So then, you know, they'll, they'll stop getting ground, but they have to cook the rest through. But, um, so I'm just watching it and just going to keep flipping it. And it's a pain in the ass, but what is it, you know, it is what it is. So um, I seasoned it, like I said, with garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. I'm going to put some paprika in here. And uh, I think that's all the seasoning I'm going to put in here. Um, yeah, where's the paprika? Here's the paprika. We'll put a little bit of paprika in here. Just a little bit. And let me get the butter. I'm going to put a little piece of butter in here. Like I said, I didn't soak them in oil, but I did put olive oil in the bottom of the pan because you need some olive oil, and olive oil is good fat. Butter is not so great for you, so I'm not going to use that much, just a little bit. And I'm going to um, air fry the chicken. I'm not going to fry it or anything like that. So because um, I'm really going to start doing heart healthy now. Be full force with it because my husband has all the stents cleared and he's, you know, I was doing it before, but not 100%. And a lot of it is him, you know. He wants this, he wants that, so, but, um, you know, there's certain things that have to be changed and we will do that. But, um, yeah, so I'm sure everybody's going to say, Start giving me suggestions again, and I appreciate it. I appreciate all the suggestions about the healthy eating and all that. But, you know, we know what the deal is. I know. I've been living it my whole life. With, uh, my last 30 years of my life, 25 years of my life with diabetes and all that. And, and we know what we have to do. It's just not easy to do it, you know. But we're going to try to implement it as best as we can because we want him to be healthy. And we want all, all, us, all of us to be healthy. And, uh, you know. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, so these are getting crispy. That's what I want. Um, and this is going to be a very kind of simple dinner. I did all the dishes already. I just have to put the dishes away, which I will do because like I said, husband is not doing anything. Because he needs to rest. So share it when he can and when we don't, when he insists on always doing it and um, when he can't do it, I will do it. You know, he tends to want to always do everything for me and all of that, but he can't always do everything. You know, it's got to be a, it's got to be a, a, a group effort. Tell him that all the time, but he, you know, Yeah, so, um, like I said, when he's healthy or whatever, I usually cook so that he cleans up. He usually just does the dishes. I put everything away. You know, we both, we both do our share. And, um, but if he's not, one of us isn't feeling well, he certainly takes over, and I certainly take over. My son, he'll help here and there. He'll take the, he's going to have to help, too, this week, because Billy can't lift anything for another, for a little while. So he's got to have to take the garbage out. He's going to have to take the recycling out, and he's going to have to um, do certain things. And he will. But it's not always easy getting him to do it. So look, this is becoming crispy, guys. This is exactly what I want. You see? And it takes time. And that's why I par-cooked them first, which is boiled them a little bit, you know. So this way, I can get that crisp without them burning 
and then lower the flame and get them to cook the rest of the way inside. I will show you what I mean by the crispiness. You see? Look, that's the ticket right there. And like I said, this pan really doesn't isn't that great anymore as far as um, everything not sticking, but I put the olive oil in it and I put the butter and it's doing really, really well. So I'm just gonna keep doing this, let the potatoes get crispy and then we'll taste them and see if they need any more. A little seasoning here and there. Yum, oh, you're gonna be so freaking good. So good. All right, let's put the rest of this stuff away. So it won't be bad, it won't be a bad cleanup tonight. I don't even think Frankie's eating this. Frankie is, he stopped and got something for himself, so. You know, he's his own man. He's 32 years old, so he can do what he wants to do with his bunny, and he doesn't want to eat what I'm making. By all means, you know, he has something else. So he can do what he wants to do, and that's what he did, so. It's fine with me. You know, it's fine. And, um, you know, there are times when I cook, and he doesn't like what I'm making. You know, I always consider him, I'll say, you know, I know what Frankie likes, obviously, he's my son. You know, I know what he likes to eat and all that. And and there are nights that, like, my husband and I are just like, oh, we want this. Or, like, Frankie's not big on seafood. So, like, when I make seafood, I'll say to him, I'm making seafood tonight. You know, you're going to have to, and he'll, he'll fend for himself. And that's why he goes, he goes to the store and he buys some of his own meals and stuff. Because when I'm not, make, when I'm making something that he doesn't prefer, then he has his own stuff to do. He can fend for himself, you know? So I'll always give him the courtesy of telling him I'm making this tonight, or he'll ask me, what are you making tonight, Mom? You know, and that's and that's it. Because, you know, let's face it, our husband, our husband, my husband and I are at the point now that we're kind of empty nesters. Jenny's gone. I don't have to cater to her anymore. Cater, which I used to do all the time, you know that. Julie's gone. You know, everybody's gone. So Frankie's the only one. And he's 32 years old. You know, he pays his own bill. He does all that. So he, he, you know, he takes care of himself, basically. But I do buy a lot of the food. And he does eat dinners with us. And he'll eat food when I buy. Like, if I buy a package of cheese... He's going to go in there and have a package of slices of cheese, which is fine, which I don't care, you know. Um, but, um, you know, he does fend for himself mostly. And, like, you know, like I, like I said, we'll consider him, but I'm not going to, like, say, oh, Frankie doesn't like that. You know, when I go to the store, I'll say, oh, I'll buy this, or I'll make this, Frankie likes that, or I'll, and Billy's like, oh, I want this, and Frankie doesn't like it, so I'm not going to not buy it. I'll buy it and make it on a night. I'll make it, and if he doesn't want it or like it, then he can fend for himself. Be it go out to eat, or he can bring something in, or, you know, have stuff in the in his arsenal, pantry, freezer, or whatever, for him to eat when he wants to. And that's the way it is. So that's, it works. It works, guys. It works. So these are looking so good. I'm so excited. I'm going to taste one of the big ones now to see. Okay, they're getting a little crispy, but I still, yeah, you see, I can fork it, but it's still a little, it has a, still a little push to it, which is fine because they're going to be like crispy enough in a couple of minutes that I'm going to lower the flame and just let it cook a little while just so the rest of the inside cooks, which it will, which it's almost there. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Really good. Very good. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put these potatoes back in the microwave for like a couple of minutes and just cook them a little bit more because I'm going to use these four potatoes with the potato salad that I'm going to make tomorrow. I'll add more potatoes to it. So I'm just going to put these on for like another three minutes so they're done because they're not totally done. You know what I mean? So I don't want to eat raw potatoes for potato salad. So that's what I'm going to do. Cook them for another three minutes. I'll cook them at three minute intervals. This way I don't overcook them because I don't want, I don't want mashed potatoes. I want um, 
big potato salad. <laughs> so you guys look at this. So this pan is working. It's making me a liar because it's really working really nice tonight. It's not sticking at all. It's really working very nicely. Guys, oh, you know what? The only thing that would be much better in here, I should have put real onions in it. Should have put real onions, but I didn't. And I think if I added a little bit of, um, also, if I added, I could still do that, add um, um, a sweet potato. A sweet potato or two in here. But then it would change it, you know. So, but these are home fries, so I'm just going to make regular home fries. But I can do that. I can make sweet potatoes with, I'm trying to find my, um, I'm trying to find my minced onion because I know I have it in here. And I always find it when I don't need it. I'm always like, oh, there's the, there's the onion that I was looking for. There it is, the chopped onion. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit of the chopped onion in here just to give it a little bit of a uh, crunchy little bit of onion. Yeah. I, I can't believe I didn't put onion because you know me. I use onion in everything. I really do. I really put onion in everything, and I love it. I just wasn't feeling it tonight, so. And I didn't even put any fresh garlic in, but I can do that right now. I'm gonna do that since I got my mint garlic. From Carla, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. She's so awesome, this lady. All of you are so awesome. Here's my mint garlic. She sent me two. Go through the stuff like like water. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. Really? Just a little. A little bit. You know my little. My little is a little. <laughs> so these are nice and crunchy now. So I'm just going to, I might just shut it off. I'm gonna check one more and then I'm gonna check it. Cause I don't want them to get too crispy. You know, they want to be, they have to be nice and tender. God darn it. Try not to make a bigger mess. Ow. I'm going to shut it. Hmm. Oh my God. Good garlic. So good. Ah. So good, guys. Action. Action, Jackson. All right, guys. So here it is. I made three pieces. Cheese on top. And this is what's for dinner tonight. I'll be back with my tonight. Yum, my guys. Look, I sliced up some tomato. Put a little sea salt. Gonna be nice and yummy. Um, yeah, this tomato ain't the best, but I can't wait to get my own tomatoes. Alright. Alright guys, be back in a minute. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribers button because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow. Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell. So you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. This chicken is amazing, just like I fried it myself. Um, mm. Like and share, comment down below. Love you guys. Thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me and said creating. Love you guys. See you on the next video um, again. But the home fries are so good. Billy said thumbs up. They're incredible. Look at that. Look at the crisp on that, guys. I'm telling you, cook them first. It just makes it so good. Mmm. I can't with these. I can't. All right. Gonna go now. Love you guys. See you on the next one. Bye. Be kind and be, and be patient. Love you guys. Bye.